Hello everybody, how are you? David DeFranco here from TechSocial.com as well as DavidDeFranco.co or DDeFranco.com, whichever you prefer, as well as AdForFive.com. I have a bunch of websites. Uh, but this is my official room tour that people have literally been requesting since this time last year. People love room tours. So do I though, so I completely understand where you're coming from. Before I start this video, I would like to mention that everything you're about to witness in this room tour is probably from Amazon.com. Uh, guys, I love Amazon, so my point of this whole description here is if you want to purchase anything that you see in this room tour, just go to techsocial.com slash store. That's a whole official list of everything I have, and then I'll link it directly to Amazon, and from there on it's all fun and games, if that's what you want to call it. Anyway guys, without further ado, enjoy Tour of a Geek's Room, Spring 2012. Let's start over in this corner of the room. Honestly, this is my like third or fourth take. I'm just going to try to keep this one simple. I don't want to go too in-depth on details. But this is my Boone Glow Lights. Awesome light. You can go through different colors. But you can do the animation mode where it goes through the transitions by itself, which is pretty cool. I will leave that on. This is the world's longest spinning top from ThinkGeek.com. Not really, but... It does spin up for seven days. It's, bat uh, it's uh, powered through batteries, which you really can't see, but this little top comes off via that little notch right there. It's kind of furry from the animals, but whatever. Uh, but that thing is awesome. It spins for up to seven days. One of my favorite movies. Third generation Apple TV, full 1080p support. My Panasonic battery charger for my Panasonic HEC SD600K camcorder, which I'm actually holding right now. I have two batteries total. 46 inch Samsung TV. I have a long unboxing on this. Well, I don't know if it's long. I think it's like 10 minutes. That's average in my eyes. But I love this TV. Love, love, love it. I freaking, if I could have TV intercourse, this would be the one I would choose. Um, not really. It's a joke. Hello. I'm just waving because, yes, it is very reflective, unfortunately. But it's honestly not an issue at all at nighttime. And trust me, Movies and video games especially look downright amazing. This is my Xbox 360 Kinect sensor. I don't really use my Kinect that often unless friends come over. Wii sensor bar, which isn't really hooked up because the Wii isn't, well, full HD. So there's a whole issue about having a delay. It's, I'm not going to get too geeky on you. My Onkyo center speaker, along with my Yamaha stereo speakers, which were handed down to me from my dad when he got new speakers. And heading back here, we have my rear Onkyo speakers. This one is actually not working. The cable has died for whatever reason. So I've just been lazy with that. And as you can see, the cable runs down there, which means it goes all the way around here. And that's honestly why I haven't gotten around to fixing it yet. This is my Nintendo 3DS charger, my docking station. Awesome. This is a little chopper. I play with my dad now and then. He also has one, so we battle each other and... Eventually, when you shoot the other person's chopper too much, it comes down to a spiraling crash, which is pretty cool. Little Mario figurine. I obviously do love Mario. I've been playing it since day one, um, years and years ago. Another little Mario figurine. This is not uh, Lego, but it is Connects, and I really like this a lot. It's really cool. And a Geek Shot glass, which I don't really use that often anymore. I used to use it all the time in college, but now if I go over a friend's house, I just use whatever's at their house, but... It's all good. My Onkyo speaker, I love this thing. I recently just got this. This is the TXNR609. I do have an unboxing on that. Oh, speaking of unboxing, everything you see in my room, like literally almost everything, not only is it on Amazon.com like I've already mentioned, but I have an unboxing or review or first impressions video on just about everything you see. I mean, I have unboxed, I love unboxings. I don't care what people say, I love my unboxings. So yes, you can find a video on just about everything you see. Yes, including this. And yes, with this new receiver, return some gook that I have to get off. But I guess this is kind of a tradition going back to the years of uh, Tour of a Geek's Room 2006. There is my magic trackpad, awesome little device, my Blu-ray burner and uh, reader, which honestly is a minor disappointment. It's not really what I wanted, so I put it on my Mac Mini. It just looks better over here, and it's, it's better for its purpose, and my 
Well, speaking of Mac Mini, this is my Mac Mini that I use for my streaming over at ddfranco.com slash live or techstation.com slash live, which was awesomely sponsored by my good friend David Banther. So thank you again, David, and I promise streaming will return soon. This is my Xbox 360 that I won off of Quibids for literally like $21 or so. I forget the exact price, but it was something insane like that. Um, so I do have two two controllers with it, and if you guys are interested in signing up for Quibids, my Quibids link is below. My PS3, yes, as I said, this is like my third or fourth take of this video, so I already did that in the previous take. But as you can see, my PS3 is very dusty. I have no problem in admitting that I am a total Xbox 360 fanboy. I honestly believe Microsoft does a much better job of gaming than Sony does right now in terms of, well, the controllers are much better, Xbox Live Experience kills PlayStation Network, and just the interface of the dashboard, and I'm just a huge 360 fan, and I mean, the PS3 is very nice, it is, it is very nice, but as you can see, I just really don't play it that much. And here is my Wii, I mentioned it real quick uh, before, but here's a quick shot of it, and I do have two emotes along with the charger, and the nunchucks are hidden away in some kind of storage thing, which you will probably see soon. Hey, Smoke! Alright, 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 don't fight, don't fight. Oh, by the way, this is where I charge my iPhone just about every night. I just charge it via the wall adapter, which is back there, and yes, I have tons of cables. It kind of drives me nuts. But it's one of those things you have to put up with. This is my turret from Portal 2. If you listen, she does talk. Oh no. Did I kill her? She was just working for the previous video. Maybe I had to take the battery out. I don't know. Either way, the light's on, and that's all I really care about. This is my jellyfish. I keep wanting to call it scorpion. I don't know why. Uh, but this is my jellyfish. It's very reflective. Um, unfortunately, it's not plugged in right now because I recently moved it from behind my monitor because my desk used to be like this, but I just moved this a few days ago. So this has to be plugged in, which I will do very soon. This is my lighting kit, which I do have a video on. There you go. I said I pressed it twice. Now, it is very bright outside. Well as bright as it's gonna get. It's kinda gloomy, but you get my point. Basically, the lights are back here, which I really love. This is one of the best things I've ever put in my room, and this just looks awesome at night. You can do all kinds of strobe effects and stuff, but I'm not gonna bore you with that right now because I do have a couple of videos on this. And if you're wondering, the sensor, so I was trying to turn that off without looking at the camera, the sensor is right down there. So I put it there for a reason because I typically watch TV or play my games from right over there, or right here. So, that way the remote, no matter what, will hit the IR sensor, which you can barely see, which is pretty cool. Where to next? How about the Macworld corner? This is an awesome gift from my good friend Alfred de Blasi. Check him out over at youtube.com slash adablasi. This is a Macworld anniversary issue. Yes, it's the actual issue inside of frame, which is pretty cool. My goal is to really never open it because I'm kind of OCD when it comes to stuff like that, so I want it to always be completely perfect. Speaking of Apple, this is obviously an Apple corner. I'll go over that in a second. This is my, well, these are my Panther dog tags at the Panther launch. I did not buy those. I mean, I did not get those myself from the Panther launch, but I did buy them from eBay. Do you hear that? That's a Deathly clock, which is right there, which I will not mind watching burn to the ground. But yes, there's my Macworld stuff. Uh, this is my iShrine. Tons of Apple stuff. All these Apple boxes are not officially mine, but, I mean, most of them are. This is my iPhone 3GS. Oh, by the way, when I say not officially mine, I mean like some of them are my dad's, uh, my dad's, my mom's, and whatever. But that is my iPad box. That's a book I recently got about Apple from Alfred. And this is my iSight camera. Awesome, awesome little camera. I actually have a lot of videos on that. That's actually what I used to use for my geek updates back when I used to do that series. Maybe I'll start doing it again soon, we'll see. This is my little Steve Jobs paper thing. It's pretty bad looking, but I just keep them there because it's cool. And all my iPods and iPad box and all that stuff. Over there is just my money stuff. As you can see, money just sitting out. I got to put that away. Uh, my wallet, work stuff, invoices, receipts, stuff like that. This is my change thing 
my change basket, if you want to call it that. It looks kind of dirty inside. Um, I just use it for that because, well, there's nothing really else to use it for. I used to use it for college, for, you know, my bathroom stuff like my shampoo and stuff and whatever hairspray that I used to take back and forth. But now I just use it for change. This is an extra cube as I kick stuff. Let's put Mario back up. He probably fell from Smokey. These are cases that I'm selling on eBay and a mouse I'm selling, Julie's I'm selling, and basically a bunch of stuff I'm selling that I haven't real, really sold yet. This is my Laser Star. I think I'm calling, I think that's what it's called, Laser Star. That was another awesome gift from Alfred. It's just not hooked up right now because honestly I don't have room for it. I just don't know where to put it at the moment. But I will figure that out over time. Oh, that's my PowerBook G4, 17 inch, 1.5 gigahertz, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, 100 gigabyte hard drive, I believe, 7200 RPM, which was upgraded from 4200 RPM, and yeah, and I apologize for the white balance changes, that's the only downside about Panasonic camcorders, they're a little sensitive, yeah, I know I can do manually, but I don't want to do that. This is my brand new tripod that I just got around Christmas time, a Vanguard, Alta Plus, where is it, there it is, 204 AP. I do have an unboxing on that. Check it out. I really like this a lot. It's very, very nice, especially when you compare it to my previous tripod. I mean, this thing is practically a godsend in comparison. These are my cables things. I mean, you're not a true geek if you don't have a thing of cables. I think David Bather said that a while ago. I'm pretty sure it was him. Or, or maybe it was Chris Perlow. I'm not sure. But either way, every geek has a thing of cables. And these are more cables and adapters and stuff like that. Steve Jobs Magazine, my key, which I turn on every night, but I'll turn it on right now for the video purposes. Apple Books, as well as my OS X Cats, which I got from AC Moore. They're not official OS X Cats, I just call them that. Some Mario thing I made in college one night when we were bored. Yes, this is pixel per pixel uh, perfect, except for one little bit. I can't find it right now, but it fell off a while ago, but eh, that's okay. This is the thing I got for Christmas, which I just still have to open, which I feel bad about. I still have to make an unboxing on this, but it seems pretty interesting. It's a pop phone that basically looks like you're using a classic phone on the iPhone, which is awesome because it's totally like contrast of what we use nowadays. Heading over here, this is my case corner. I have a bunch of cases that I haven't used yet. Uh, y drive, which I finally opened. I got this thing back in October. So far, it's kind of frustrating. There's a lens I made a video on a while ago. Uh, my Beats from David Banther. Thank you again, David. I really like those a lot. My Tix Clock. I'm kind of jumping around here. My first generation Apple TV. Oh, by the way, when I said third gen, that is my third gen Apple TV. But my second gen, I gave to my parents. Um, so it's kind of a trade-off. I really don't mind giving that away because if I could spread the Apple experience, then I will do so. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. My trash can, yes, Wawa right on top. I do a Wawa coffee. Not every night. It's It seems like I do every night, but I have it pretty often. And where to now? I guess that's that corner. I'm trying to make this video fairly short. This is my bed. Yes, it's very small considering my age and size, but hey, it's good enough. Drawers, which I do use for clothes, and I do use my closet for clothes because a lot of people thought I didn't have many shirts. Well, a lot of my shirts are in there too. I just don't have one place for everything, that's all. Heading back over here, a command pillow along with option. And let me see, option and escape. These are usually behind my bed. These were a gift from Kyle last year. Thank you, Kyle. Um, or Two years ago, technically, Christmas? I'm not sure how to date that. But the point is, thank you, Kyle, for these. Um, Command Option Escape is the shortcut for Force Quit on a Mac. And I put these two behind me whenever I watch Netflix. There's my first bacon, Angry Birds, and Angry Birds Pig. He makes noise. Hold on, there he goes. Doesn't really sound like a pig, totally, but... These are remotes I use every single night. I love my Apple TV, guys. Seriously, my Apple TV is... Probably one of my favorite Apple products of all time. I love it. I use it every single night. Finder pillow from my friend Christina. Thank you again, Christina. I seriously love my finder pillow. Uh, I have it every night in bed with me and call me what you want, but I love sleeping in my finder pillow. I love it. Office sign sitting on top of my speaker. My white backdrop along with black on the back. I don't know if I can show you that easily, but believe me, it is black. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. It's kind of behind my bed. Um, 
it's just out because I don't know how to fold it. I've been trying to fold it for the longest time. I realize there's videos about it. I just cannot do it. This is my lamp. I, people really like my lamp unboxing. I think I titled it, You Light Up My Life. Because, well, it wasn't just an unboxing. I also set it up. And I got a lot of hate for that, but I also got a lot of positive uh, comments for that. So, to me, positivity is all that matters in the world of YouTube. This is my blue smart cover. I honestly don't know why I bought this. I don't think I'll ever use it. So now it's just kind of a decoration. This is my AT2020 with a pop filter, which I used to use for DeFranco Gaming, but now I use my Snowball because I have a Blackmagic Design Intensity Pro plugged in, which is right here. Hence the two HDMI cables. I'll talk about my Mac Pro in a minute. There's a phone on the floor. I don't really need it, but my dad insists that I keep it in my room because it does an intercom system throughout the house. So it's an easy way of have you, you know if you have a quick question or whatever okay this is where the magic happens now i promise i will do an updated tour of a geek's desk in the very near future so i'm just going to do a very brief overview of my desk this is my chair i don't know what kind of chair it is so i know people are going to ask me this was handed down to me from my dad when he got a different chair so i honestly have no idea it's just comfortable this is my third generation ipad wi-fi 32 gigabyte. I love this thing, especially for Angry Birds Space lately. Amazing game, amazing device. I love it overall. iPhone 4S, 32 gigabyte AT&T. I recently just changed my wallpaper in case you're wondering. And yes, I will be um, doing an updated tour of a geek's iPhone or what's my iPhone video, whatever I'm going to call it. Bluetooth Apple keyboard, which I was a little skeptical at first, but I love this thing. It's so small and so portable. And Magic Mouse, these two together, it's just a great combo. Apple 23 inch cinema display, as you can see over at um, DavidDeFran.co. That is my official domain because, well, it's my name. I love that domain, and it's a domain I will never ever give up. My Logitech speakers are controlled via this remote the bass control and overall volume and power, as you can see. There's the right speaker and the left speaker. I've had this system for years now, and I've yet to find anything at better value. This is my Dwight bobblehead. You'll notice a gap here, and yes, it is very dark. That's my iPad, I just got an email. Um, I'm gonna get another desk lamp soon, which I will do an unboxing on if you guys request it. On top of my speaker over here, a Christmas 2009 Hershey's bar that my mom and I took a picture of in New York City. I love it. Old glasses, which I don't know why I still have, and a little turtle. Um, his name is actually Geo, in case you're wondering, because I found him while geocaching, so I kept him. Ankyo speaker. What else? Oh, yeah. Asus 24-inch um, monitor. I almost said cinema display. This thing is so much better quality than Asus. I mean, this is like night and day, guys. Metal build, plastic build. See, hear that? It's very cheap feeling, but then again, it was only like 220 bucks or something, so... Awesome deal. I really do recommend it. And I mean, it it has minor ghosting issues, which may have been fixed since I made that unboxing. I'm not really sure. But this video, this unboxing video, like already has like 40,000 views or something like that, which I guess is a popular monitor. So yeah, definitely check it out. Just search my channel for Asus. A-S-U-S. -S. What else? What else? What else? Okay, back here. This is awesome. This is my XP500 Turtle Beach headset. Um, it is indeed wireless. I sold my old one because I could not stand the cables. The cables drove me nuts. And as far as I can say, I mean, tell, I mean, battery life on this thing is excellent. I have not had to change it once yet. So if you're wondering about battery life, do not even worry about it because I have spent hours on this thing already and I have yet to notice any real decrease in battery life that says, hey, charge me. This is my, I always forget the company's name. They sent me this a while ago to review which I did, MimoBot, there you go, MimoBot. This is two gigabytes, I believe. Is it two gigabytes? Does it even say on there? I think it says, in it. no, it doesn't say it on here anywhere. I'm pretty sure it's two gigabytes, but I use that mainly for transferring data between this Xbox 360 and that Xbox 360. And yes, I do have two 360s. I literally won this thing for like $8, $6 or something like that, which is funny because this thing's worth $100 more than that one but I saved like over half the cost of bids on this one over at quibids.com. Again, my quibids link is below if you guys are interested in signing up via my referral link, I would really appreciate it. So yes, this is the official Mono Warfare 3 um, edition of the Xbox 360 along with this controller and 
this controller. So this is interfaced via my Blackmagic and Blackmagic Design Intensity Pro capture card, which is here. We have HDMI in and out, and I actually played through my ASUS display. I just got to switch inputs, and my audio goes through here via this wireless receiver. So everything is finally perfect now. So now that my audio is going through my headset, I can do commentary without sound drowning out in the background. So it's awesome. It's finally perfect. It's taken me many things to go through different headsets, different setups, different software to reroute my audio, which I no longer have to do. This audio goes through here and it sounds pretty damn good for the price. Oh, by the way, I got this for about $113, I think, on Quibids when it retails for like $250, I believe, maybe $200. Either way, I saved about $100 on Quibids by buying it on there, which is awesome. Oh, and of course, Right here, I cannot forget this, guys. I'm so sorry, Wawa. This is my Wawa truck. It's actually Pez, as you can see. I don't know if Candy's in there. I'm not gonna open it with one hand right now, but I kind of do just keep it there because it, look, it, it looks awesome, guys, and I love my Wawa. I'm really talking a lot. Okay, I definitely cannot forget this. This is the first generation Mac Pro from 2006. Yes, 2006. 2.66 gigahertz, dual processor, dual cores, so four cores total. This is my docking cable for my iPhone and iPad whenever I want to charge at my desk. Um, I don't use iTunes to sync, honestly. I just use wireless syncing and iCloud to back up, so I rarely use iTunes anymore um, outside of music listening and playback of video and podcasting and stuff like that, but iCloud for the win, basically. This is my other SD card, 32 gigabyte class 10. It's going to focus. There you go. I always love Transcend, and this little SD USB adapter came with my first SD card. So ever since then, I love Transcend and I literally just gotta plug it in, put my card in there, and then import into Fonica Pro 10 and it works beautifully, I love it. So yes, I mean, I'm not really gonna go too in depth about my Mac Pro because I have literally at least 10 videos on this thing alone. So just go to my channel, search Mac Pro and you'll find tons of upgrades tons of videos about whatever and overall just enjoy it yes my cable management is laughable i mean this is terrible guys i know trust me but it's out of sight out of mind so in other words i don't see it so i don't care i think that is it for my desk my mac pro goes much more in depth but again i don't want to go well too in depth not to repeat myself but you get my point let's do oh actually my closet Yes. Okay. Because my desk is in front of my closet, yes, it does block the right door, which sucks. But I moved my clothes to the left, so whenever I need to, you know, get a new shirt or whatever, I just go here. But I do have shirts over there, so I literally just got to reach out. That's my balloon helium tank. I know, it looks weird to have this in my room, but that's for my shark, which I still have to do. But when I do do my shark, I promise... I will do a video because I've, I've had people ask me all the time on Twitter and Facebook and whatever. But trust me, I will do it very soon. So in here is my shipping supplies. As you can see, FedEx for work purposes. These are a bunch of old electronics, my receiver and stuff, my old Xbox. and Actually, actually my old Xbox is behind those shirts. You can't see it, but tons of video games and DVDs. And of course, my Apple Box collection. I threw away so many old boxes, except for my Apple boxes. I kept pretty much all my Apple boxes and my Beats. And my camcorder box is down there somewhere. I'm not going to bore you with that. But basically, I will be selling my camcorder very soon for the new, uh, well, not new, but new to me, for the TM90 or TM900. Basically, it has, it has external mic support, and I cannot wait to use that thing, if all goes well in terms of money. So this is my iMac G3. I have several videos on that. The, that's the Apple Studio Display CRT, back when Apple actually made CRT displays. And my cousin's iBook, I think iBook G4. It had issues, like major hard drive issues, and she basically didn't want it back, so I keep it there. Uh, Macintosh Color Classic, I have a couple of videos on that. It never really worked out the way I wanted it to, but at least it did something. This is my old tripod, so if you want to compare the quality, I mean... Look at that, guys. Look at the difference. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but this thing is so much better than this one. I mean, 
huge difference. However, I will say I still love this tripod. This is the tripod that started it all for my YouTube career and everything. So it's not like I'll be throwing that thing away anytime soon. Oh, and of course, I can't forget, this is a PowerMark G4 I got off my friends Chris and Tiff a while ago. And I actually do have several videos on that, if you're wondering. Uh, and here's just boxes and stuff. You don't need to see that. Uh, but that is my closet. Oh, by the way, these are a bunch of VHS tapes, which I will be importing via my Roxio software. I think it's Roxio. I also have a video on that. And now, I think that is it. According to my camcorder, I've been talking for over 24 minutes, so we'll see how long the final video is. But hopefully I didn't miss anything. And of course, as always, guys, if you have any questions, do not be afraid to ask because there's always something I miss because, I'm not going to lie, I do have a lot of toys and technology. Yes, I call some of them toys because stuff like this I don't really need, but I do consider it a luxury, a toy, whatever you want to call it. Overall, it's just fun stuff. Whew, that is a lot of talking. It's tiring and I, my wrist hurts and look at my hand. I actually made an imprint from holding the camera so long. That's weird. It's never happened. I'm cracking my knuckles. It is already 2.04 p.m. Yeah, it's getting late, uh, which means I didn't even eat lunch yet. I have been delaying this for you guys, but that's because I care and I'm dedicated and honestly, I just want to get this video done because people have been asking for the longest time now, which I really do appreciate. Um, you guys, seriously, your support has been so freaking awesome. My 700th video, I saw so many awesome and nice and positive comments and yeah, now and then I get a hater, but honestly, I just block them. Who cares? It's you guys that I care about. So thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot express my appreciation enough. And of course, again, everything you saw in this video is available over at techsocial.com slash store. Well, at least most of it. And if it's not, just comment below and I'll do my best to add it. And I will see you guys next time.